All right, YouTube, so I've run into a bit of a problem with this new anvil. With uh, all my London pattern anvils, whenever I was drawing knife bevels down really thin to finish them, I, was, I would use the uh, step in front of the cutting plate. This anvil doesn't have one of those, so we gotta make an anvil block or stump anvil, whatever we wanna call it. So what we got here to start is a piece of inch and a half square, mild steel. We're gonna forge a taper down, upset it into the hardy hole to make a shoulder, and forge weld some hard facing material onto it. This is just a piece of farrier's rasp. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna tape our stock down. Now when we put it into the hardy hole and you create the shoulder, it's gonna bring it from being like that to being more like that. Then we'll weld on our hard facing, and uh, it'll basically just be a mini anvil. So that's what we got going on. Stick with me and I'll show you the process. So we gotta get a heat out of an inch and a half square, so we're just gonna use our handle hot cut, find our center punch mark. So I'll switch to a six pound hammer, try and speed things up. Hopefully we'll get better on this heat. We should be able to. Out, so I got my six pound hammer. See how she drops down to the hardy hole now? About the length we want. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this guy over the striking anvil and we're going to upset this part to create the shoulder. So let's get it dropped in there. Here's what we got. There's way too much material here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess. Right about there should do it. So we're just about through, should be able to get it on this heat. There we go, nice. So here's where we're at on the stump anvil. We got the excess cut off. As you can see, it's still sitting crooked on the top, so next thing we're gonna do is just drop it into the hardy hole and then work from the top, getting it flat, squaring everything up, and then we'll get the face welded on. Now we'll just drop it in there. Just work, getting it flat. So now that I've got mostly flat, I'm gonna use a top tool called the flatter. Just give it a good scrub, get any existing scale off. And what that's gonna do is give us a good, flat, smooth surface for our weld to take. Next thing we gotta do is get this piece of rasp installed to get it ready for welding. So what we're gonna do is chuck it up in the vise. And I got a chisel here. We're just gonna use the corners to cut some more aggressive teeth onto it because the teeth of the file really don't help it grab that well. Just enough to where we can get to. Just go along the sides. face onto this thing. All the same forge welding rules as normal apply. If you haven't seen my forge welding video, go watch it. Just gonna give it a few stiff blows, brush it, flux it, and back in the fire. And I'm being very gentle with it at this point because it'd be very easy to knock the face off of there. So just a few good blows. Tacked on there, back in the fire we go. So, to finish setting this weld, I'm just going to drop it into the hardy hole. Careful not to lose my heat. Take my 
this way, we're welding all those areas at once rather than just where a single hammer blow would be hitting. So, nice bright welding heat. Start pulling over those edges. Bring everything to square. There we go, face welded on, blended in as best we can. Face is flat, edges are chamfered. I'm just gonna let this thing cool on its own to normalize, then I'll uh, run the grinder over it, get a nice finish on it, and we'll heat treat this baby. So, back here in the workshop, here's the stump anvil ready to get the rough grind on it. So all I'm gonna do, is just grind it flat, chamfer the edges, and then we'll heat treat this guy. I forged this thing pretty close to finish, so there's not a whole lot of work to be done. So here we are about to heat treat this stump anvil. I know this particular rasp is a water quench steel. So what we're gonna do is use our water bucket here and we're gonna do what's called draw tempering. If you haven't seen me do it before, basically I'm gonna quench off the front part and then uh, take a grinding disc until I can see true metal and then watch the colors run. And that's gonna give me the tempering and the heat treat all in one go. I've, I did it on my herb knife as well as that tomahawk I made. If you haven't seen those videos, go watch them. But this guy's just about ready, so let's get it out of the fire. creeping up the body there you can see we'll just let that run there we go blue so here it is after cleanup I just took the face to 220 grit that's realistically all you need on a working tool like this but anyway yeah the forge weld held up great it hardened well it tempered exactly the way I wanted it I was worried because this forge weld didn't very clean that the face wouldn't hold but uh if you have a solid weld no matter how ugly your seam is your welds still gonna hold so the welds good and solid you know, it rings just a little bit, so tiny. But anyway, it drops into the hardy hole just like that. And uh, I believe a demonstration is in order. So, let's say I'm out here working on a knife, la di da, everything's going well. But as you can see about here, I can't draw my bevel down much thinner because the toe of my hammer is hitting my anvil. So I can take this guy, drop it in my hardy hole, drop it up on the edge. draw that bevel down nice and thin so there we go that's the stump anvil build start to finish it's going to be really useful in a lot of upcoming builds so stay tuned to the channel if you haven't liked and subscribed please do so and uh like i said thanks again for watching and everybody take care